Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today is Thursday the 5th and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. So got this morning way earlier than I should have. Um, got a St. Bernard puppy that I'm watching that just cannot go down. Um, doesn't sleep, doesn't stay asleep, doesn't just, like, I don't know if they make earplugs for dogs, but that's what he needs. Like he's just constantly like hears everything and freaks out and just high nervous energy and it's didn't get much sleep and I tried putting him in other parts of the house and he whined and wanted to be there and just kept trying to climb up. I just, just, yeah, just kept going, pacing it back and forth and never could find a spot to just really settle in. So I only got about three and a half hours of actual sleep last night. So, but super early this morning, wanted up, wanted out. So I did that, got that all taken care of. We're all good to go. Um, um, went ahead, had a couple other things get done, nothing major. Headed across the street, got myself a little soak on in the hot tub. Um, from there, I got back to the house. I was hanging out a little bit. I had a couple other dogs coming today and um, heard from the one. He said he was on his way over, so I put their dogs up, which was fine. The dogs got here, and while I was talking to the guy, I noticed a van just kind of come by. I was like, what the hell? Second time I watched the dog, we talked about how well the first time went, all that good stuff. Gave praises about how much better the dog's behaving now. That I spent time in my house for a few days and stuff, and came out like just he said, way better dog when he got it back, and he gave it to me. And, to the point the dog was chewing up shit all the time, was stuck in a crate constantly. Now it's not. He hasn't put the dog in the crate since he stayed here at my house, which was awesome. Um, so he's been sleeping in his bed with him and stuff. He hasn't peed the bed because he tried before the dog peed the bed and stuff. We solved all that here, which was awesome. So I was really, he was pretty stoked about that whole process. So we chatted a little bit. I noticed as the van pulled up, I kind of slowed down and backed up. I was like, that's kind of weird. I saw it go away and I thought, okay, no big deal, whatever. Anything about it. And then I looked by, I was like, what the hell? I looked over. There's a van in my old house driveway. I'm like, what the hell? I said, hold on, I gotta go check this out. And he goes, oh, I gotta go anywhere. I'll take off. I can talk to you all day, blah, blah, blah. So we head out. He jumps in the car. I walk him, like, can I help you? That's how it's going. And there's a lady standing there bringing her dog to me. And I'm like, first off, you post a text and let me know you're coming. But she's dropping the dog off. The husband was the one I've been communicating with. He didn't forward the information to her that she's supposed to text ahead and dot with time frames and shit. And I said, I swear I gave her with me an address. And she goes, I don't know. So she looks and she did. Her husband gave her the new address, which is across the street. But she got there and he goes, that's not the house we go to. We go to the house over here. He must have texted me the wrong address. So she thought her husband screwed up texting the wrong address, even though it was actually the new address. It was the right address. We had a funny little laugh about that one. So went ahead and got her dog. Um, so now I've got two dogs outside, one dog in the house and another dog coming in. But they're super young puppies and they're, they're great dogs. So I wasn't really worried about that part. So I got the dog, grabbed the food. She headed on her way, and she's gonna pick the dog up on Monday, I think, whatever. The other one just showed up, so I have them showing up like literally five minutes apart. Got them in there, got them all introduced and stuff. Then I had to do some St. Bernard and the Bulldog. And the Bulldog's a little bit humpy. He likes to be a little bit dominant, then more than he should be. So we had to kind of deal with that one, but we'll see. So I got them inside, let those two meet pretty good. And then from there, they take off, and then get them all outside. Everybody's having a great time. The dogs are getting along splendidly. The Bulldog's getting a little humpy at things, but overall, being stayed pretty well in check and then they got to playing so hard like the St. Bernard's like passing out like he's so exhausted the bulldog gave up pretty quickly so the bulldog and my old Bruce my great dang came inside and the dogs just played and played and played and played and played would pass out and play and play and play and play and play and pass out and it's funny because Eddie the little black dog he was the last to go down like he was the he would play with the um with the doodle and then the doodle give up he'd play with the St. Bernard the St. Bernard give up he played the doodle game back and forth. He went back and forth that probably four rounds before he finally went down. I finally got a photo of all three of them like asleep at the same time. And it was three and a half hours later. Like it was late. Like they both, they all played their ass off. So yeah, that was a fun one. Um, went ahead and all that was good to go. I got my run in, uh, went ahead and got myself a shower knowing the fact that my um, wife's daughter, or wife's daughter, my wife's son is flying back into the airport or Sanford today and um, she's supposed to go pick him up because I think he supposedly had some that might be able to pick him up or something but the flight got delayed a couple days ago they pushed it back for something so it was getting pushed back and that person couldn't pick him up whatever so she said she'd pick him up and then it went from like a four something pickup to a like 639 pickup type things kept getting pushed back pushed back pushed back so I went and ran early got my shower text my wife I said hey if you need me to go get him let me know. I will, you know, do that for you. Um, she don't drive at night. She's getting, her eyes are getting a little bit weird. 
or she don't feel comfortable dry at night. And it's been raining off and on today, and it looks like it might rain this evening, so definitely does not want to drive at night in the rain. So it is what it is there, which is gonna just, I don't know, it's one of those things that kind of sucks, but part of me is a little bit of like, I don't care, get out and drive, because if you don't practice it, you're never gonna feel comfortable doing it, and you're gonna be, you know, never driving at night anymore, we're stuck, not traveling anywhere in the evenings if I can't drive, so gonna make it hard for driving me home if I ever decide to become a drunk if she won't drive at night but it is what it is so went ahead um, I saw her I said hey you need me to go I've already got my running got my shower I'm all good to go so I taking care of this for you um, want you to feel comfortable want you to feel safe all the good fun stuff and the time kept getting pushed back kept getting pushed back so I was like well I don't want to wait till I get home I'll eat dinner I get home because it won't be that, that late but it's not going to be early by any means I was supposed to be up like 4 40 or something to start with and I was like okay no big deal and then it kept getting pushed back, kept getting pushed. She finally, I said, I need an answer. Am I taking him or not? Because I need to know right now, because if I'm not taking him, it's gonna change my day. If I am taking him, or not taking him, pick him up. But if I am the one doing it, I need to know so I can make my plans. She goes, oh, just go ahead and do it. I'm like, thank you. Which, ain't that hard to do. So I'm probably gonna take a couple dogs with me. That way I don't have to worry about it, um, whatever and whatnot. Well, it kept getting delayed so far back. I'm like, well, if you're home before I get home, I'll just leave the dogs home. You can watch the dogs home, take, the dog, take him. Which in my mind was, hey, I'll give me a chance. I'll maybe stop at Lowe's and maybe hit a couple little stores and stuff. What am I doing? And and, uh, and that excuse, I would be out there like that. And she's like, yeah, no big deal. So I literally hadn't even left yet. And she gets home from work. So give her the dog. She goes, I want you to take the St. Bernard. Like, okay, I guess that doesn't. It defeats all my purpose meal and go to any place. I even thought about stopping by a buddy of mine's house and maybe even having like a cigar with him up in Port Orange. But that ain't gonna happen because he's got a brand new puppy that I don't even think he's got full immune you know, shots yet. So I'm not bringing a new dog around that. So that's not cool. So I was like, okay, whatever, I gotta take dogs. So I took the same route with me. We head over, it was finally late enough. Our original plan was told him once he lands to call her and then we'd head over and get him because it's about an hour, not quite an hour drive over there. By the time you get to the airport and whatnot. But you figure by the time your plane lands down, you get off, get your baggage check, all that kind of stuff. You're you know, you're 25 minutes minimum, probably 40 minutes by the time you go to the airport, get your baggage and stuff, all that, you know, so we're good to go. And I said, hell, it, it's ready to go. I got the dog, I'm just gonna take off. Better to not have to have him wait real long time, which part of me is that world of like, hey, you're getting a free ride. You know, he barely even say thank you, you know, kind of thing. You're not the most appreciative person in the world that shows that stuff, but that falls on my wife because she didn't teach her kid how to show appreciation very well, so. But yeah, went ahead and um, headed over that way. Grabbed myself a cigar, just a small one. Got over there with the dog. Um, got to the airport. Bef he landed before I got to the airport, but like just barely. So by the time he got to the gate, got his bag check, all kind of stuff, I'd made a lap. And then one I made the lap, I forgot there's a cell phone lot. But as you came in, I missed it when I first came in. So I made a loop, second loop, pulled in the cell phone lot where you can park and wait for somebody to call you. Not pay for it, it's a free parking way out in the middle of nowhere. Parked there. Gave the dog a chance to get out and go to the bathroom. Hung around there a little bit. And then from there, he finally called because he was out. I told him where to go to pick him up. There's like an overpass with like a walkway. And then he walks out there and stands underneath like just a covered patio part. Not the actual walking bridge over to the parking garage. So I almost missed him on the first lap, which would have soaked. But luckily I saw him. He was nowhere near where he was supposed to be. But went ahead, um, got him in the truck, got his bags in the back. We headed back home, asking him to stop anywhere. He goes, no, I'm going to go home or DoorDash. <laughs> okay, but in my head, being a frugal, cheap son of a bitch that I am, and thinking that, hey, every dollar I save now is money I can invest into the stock market or whatever I want to do that I wish I had done when I was 20, not when I'm, you know, almost 50 kind of thing. I've been a whole different world. But my thought is, well, why don't we just stop on the way home, pick one of these dozen restaurants we're going to drive by, stop in there, buy some food, and also, the real kick in the teeth is that $9 you're gonna save that on DoorDash or whatever, how much DoorDash costs. I don't know what DoorDash, I've never used DoorDash. But let's just say it's nine bucks. I don't know what it is, but it seems like people talk about. Use that nine bucks to offer to buy me a burger or a taco or whatever for driving you around. Same money out of your pocket. You get the food, bring you carry it home, eat it on the way, whatever kind of thing. You no, know, I'm just gonna get home or DoorDash and blah, blah, blah. Almost like it was like this like right up passage. Like he was like bragging, like we go home, make a beautiful stew or something. It was like he was bragging he's gonna order DoorDash. I'm like, okay, so you're gonna waste money. I just don't get it. I just think, God, that nine bucks you could have saved. Or you could have stopped at Win Dixie or Publix and grabbed some food. I'm thinking the $28 this meal's gonna cost you. 
you could on the same meal for six bucks. And spent $22 in the stock market. Right now the stock market is complete trash. It is garbage, so it's all on sale. It's losing money every day, getting cheaper. So you keep putting the money in the stock market. And then in 10 years, you go buy yourself a new fucking you know, boat with what would have been restaurant money. But everybody got their own ideas. So we chatted about video games and how his trip went and different things like that. And got him back home, dropped him off, and then reached out to a buddy of mine who was actually out on a walk. And then I kind of wanted to see the new puppy is what I was after. I was just going to stop by, leave my dog in the truck, go see the new puppy, and then basically peace out since I had a dog with me. But they were out on the walk and stuff, and I was like trying to figure out where they were exactly and all that. So gave up, said it, and just headed on home. Got to the house and hanging out there a little bit. Went ahead to um, hang outside for a little while, finish my cigar. It was probably, I don't know, 9.30. Still haven't eaten anything. So you're always hungry. So I'd eat some chips and dip and then some barbecue lays for dessert, or not dessert, for dinner. So I was like, I need to eat something. It's been all day. Price to eat something. So I went ahead, knocked out a little bit of chips and dip, and I went back in for a second bowl of barbecue lays, and it was all good to go. And it was no problem at all there. So that's pretty much my day. Um, that's all I got for right now. But we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.